Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brian. It's a new month. We've got the new lootware, but honestly, I'm not quite sure what month of lootware this is. It's been a little while since we've uh, reviewed them, showed off what's inside. They've had some delays, so we kind of have like a stack up of lootware that all showed up at the same time. So let's roll the dice and to figure out what's going on. I believe this one is January, so we're going to open up, we're going to show off what's inside, and I'm going to be as surprised as you, because screw it, we're doing it live. Uh, so for those who don't know, Lootware is from Loot Crate. It is their, basically, their clothing bag. Um, you get a bunch of goodies, you don't know what you're going to get inside. Uh, but usually it's pretty solid stuff, it's pretty entertaining, uh, and I've enjoyed that so far, I mean, it's been some really good, solid clothing. This month's theme is Origins. So, uh, I, I remember this box from Loot Crate itself and Loot Crate DX. It had stuff like uh, things with Superman and a lot of comic characters and uh, well-known uh, debuts of various, various pop culture characters. So, we're going to see what they do in here. It should be pretty entertaining. Uh, they got a nice little booklet to kind of walk you through everything, which is I'm staring out to figure out what I'm going to be looking at. First up, we've got a t-shirt featuring the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Of course, got Splinter. Kind of a cool crest. Established 1984. TMNT NYC done in kind of a sewer great top. Pretty neat. I, I, you know, I like the t-shirt. It's not too bad. Uh, or not, uh, not too weird or... I, I might wear this one. I, you know, not, I'm not 100% sure uh, on it and sold completely. One thing that's always nice with Lootware, though, is their t-shirts are super comfortable. So even if you're not totally sold on the design, you can uh, get a pretty, uh, you get at least a comfy shirt to, like, lounge around in at home and stuff like that. So uh, there's at least that. It's, it's, yeah, it's the best way to describe that. All right, so next we've got some socks. I know... I go off about the socks from this so often, and there's with reason, is we've got a Super Mario Brothers sock, kind of 8-bit pixel art on it, which is pretty cool if you ask me. It's got the, the plant that always eats you, and I jump right in, and we've got Superman. I love the Superman one. This is absolutely getting added to my regular rotation. The socks are super comfortable. I talked about the shirt being comfortable, well, the socks are pretty damn comfortable as well. Uh, we've got the rocket ship and Superman logo. Pretty awesome, if you ask me. I am very, very happy with that. Uh, next, we've got some underwear from... This is Steven Universe's exclusive underwear. You can see the design in here. Pretty cool design. Uh, you know, I've, I have... I forgot what it was. I think it was like an Adventure Time underwear that they... Uh, sent in one of the other boxes or bags and it was really it was comfortable so uh again it, it's underwear so you know it's not like something you got to go and wear on the outside all the time and people are going to see it so as long as it's comfy underwear like who really cares about the rest of it that's where i'm looking at it uh and then next we have the fantastic beast gold foil scarf Symbol scarf. I'm not one that, you know, really is into Fantastic Beasts or Harry Potter or any of that stuff. So this one's kind of lost on me. Show it off. In there, you can see, you get a better idea of what we're looking at. Um, I, again, I'm not a, a fan of the kind of the, the property, so that one I'm not so big on and really care about. Um, what's interesting is it lists a hoodie, but I don't see a hoodie in here. So maybe this is something because... We got hooked up with this that uh, I didn't get with it, but there's a nice hoodie in there. Maybe the hoodie's going to come later. There have been some weird delays on stuff like that. So maybe this is what got delayed and been waiting for, but whatever. It's not that big a deal. Uh, as I said, so Loot Crate hooked us up with this. Uh, so we did get it for free. You can kind of make your own uh, decision as to how full of it I am about this. Uh, so generally, like I'm not a big Fantastic Beast fan, so the simple scarf doesn't really appeal to me the steven universe boxers i mean they're boxer shorts as long as they're comfortable i don't really care uh, i'll probably wear them just because of comfort i love the socks i have way too many socks i'm kind of bleeding socks at this point but the superman one is pretty sweet that's getting added to my collection and that will i'll definitely be wearing it uh the tmnt crest t-shirt 
is cool. Um, I like the design. I'm probably not going to rock it or wear it, so whatever, but their t-shirts are really comfortable. Um, and then the Dungeons Dragon the hoodie, though we don't have it in front of us, I can't really judge it, but it looks neat. So overall, I mean, if you want geeky clothing, you don't want to go shopping for it, I mean, they can get kind of expensive. Uh, t-shirts always run from like 10 to 20 bucks, and, and you know, it just it adds up is what it really comes down to. Um, you know, Blue Wear I think is a very affordable option. I think it's about $30 with shipping a month. You can obviously start it and stop it whenever you want. And, uh, you know, you don't know the general themes as to what you're getting. So, thank you Loot Wear for the hookup. Thank you Loot Crate for the hookup for the Loot Wear. You can get your own. There's a link beneath this video. Uh, you can subscribe through that. It's an affiliate link, so we do get a small percentage of that, but by doing so, you help support our site, and I thank you so much for that. If you're watching this, you're really into geeky stuff, probably, so you should check us out at graphicpolicy.com. You can find us on Tumblr, uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. As always, thank you so much for watching. By doing that, you help support our site, so until next time, Wave your geek flag high and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.